YouTubers. So we're going to talk about H610M and whether it is a good choice for you for a motherboard. So before we get into this, a little history. I have bought over the years different uh, motherboards that end in uh, 10M. M is for uh, micro ATX size motherboard. So 8th gen, 9th gen, Gigabyte H310M-A. Then we had Intel Tension come out. I bought this ASUS Prime H410M-A. 11th gen came out. I bought the ASUS Prime H510M-A. And then 12th gen ASUS Prime H610M-E D4. Okay, so talk about what the M stands for. D4, DDR4 RAM. All right. So a lot of limitations with this motherboard. Let's go over uh, some of the features and we'll talk about where those limitations are. Now, I've got the uh, our motherboard here. Even though on the side you can see uh, it actually says uh, B660M HDV, but I brought that as a comparison motherboard so you guys can see that and um, some props. So let's just start with uh, let's start with RAM on this, okay? And we'll talk about stuff in the future. So D4 in the title, DDR4 RAM. A lot of us already own a bunch of this. I have, you know, who knows how many sticks? 30 sticks of DDR4 RAM here. This is not, you know, uh, one of the future motherboards, right? The future motherboards have D5 on them, and and probably the next gen will be all D5, right? But for right now, D4 is pretty much king. Um, is that a limitation with this? No. So that, that aspect's good. Where is the limitation with this motherboard and DDR4 RAM? The speed. I can't put 3600, 41, 33 megahertz RAM in this and expect to get those speeds. I am limited to 3200 megahertz. What's the good news? Well, 3000 megahertz, 3200 is pretty cheap RAM, right? Uh, Black Friday, I got this RGB RAM, 50 bucks. But, you know, most likely you're going to find 3000, 3200 in that 50 to 60 range. Um, so that's, you know, not necessarily that big a deal uh, because that RAM works fine, right? But you are limited to that speed of 3200. So you can't really get all you can out of the better RAM, the higher speed RAM, okay? Has two slots, and this is not the motherboard, but um, the motherboard's here. But you can see, you know, this one's very similar. B660M HDB, two RAM slots, same thing here. Where does that matter? If I wanted 32 gigs and I already have four eight gig sticks, uh, guess what, to get 32, now I gotta go buy two new sticks of 16. If I only want 16 gigs, not that big a deal, right? Um, but for some people that might be a limitation. Now the amount of, let's talk graphics cards. So we moved on from RAM. This guy has PCIe 4.0, okay? So in the future when RTX 4000 comes out and it's PCIe 5.0, Oh, is it going to work? It'll work in this motherboard, but am I getting all that I can get out of it? No. Supposedly half the bandwidth or whatever. Um, does that mean half the speed? I don't think so. Not even close, but uh, there might be some performance loss there, right? So that part, maybe not so great. The amount of the smaller PCIe's that are on here. So your H610M at least the one I have, only has one one inch, okay? So very limited, folks, on what you can stick in there. If you want a Wi-Fi card like this, you're able to put that in there. Um, note that if you have a really big graphics card, this might be right up against it. So that's kind of a negative. But uh, at least you can have Wi-Fi via one of these. This is, uh, from what I've seen, the, the fastest way to go for Wi-Fi. You could also put a USB uh, dongle in there. Uh, that works too. So PCIe 4.0, not getting 5.0, right? Most of you won't matter, don't care, whatever. The M.2s that are in that thing, okay? And why am I showing you this B660M? Well, here's another reason this is 
honestly a superior motherboard. This has Gen 4 M.2 in it. Uh, actually, this is Ultra. So Ultra on ASRock means Gen 3. Hyper means Gen 4. So this guy has two M.2s. One of them's PCIe 4.0 and the other is 3.0. There are two M.2s on this. H610M and they're both PCIe 3.0, right? So a lot of us, um, I have tons of Gen 3 M.2s. I've only got a few Gen 4s. Not really, you know, that big a deal. I don't think it really matters that much, but there's something that may matter to somebody. I want the best, uh, I want to, you know, I want the best solid state drive. And, you know, to take full advantage of that, you need a Gen 4 M.2 connector on your motherboard okay so this guy does not have unless I'm wrong I can't see it but does not have an M.2 for Wi-Fi okay so this was the same price as that motherboard it's got a lot better features um, that's why I'm, I'm actually wanting to show you this because realize there are alternative alternatives out there to this it may cost you a little bit more money but you are gonna see uh, some better features on it. If we look at the side of this where the I.O. shield goes, this has more features than the H610M as well. Okay, so with H610s, you're gonna see you're gonna see these PS2 style connectors. You'll see two USB 2.0s, two USB 3.0s. A display port, HDMI, maybe VGA, a one gigabyte LAN, okay? Does that matter for most of us? There's another limitation though, only one gig. If you want a 2.5, you know, you might have to buy something like this E690 or an H670. If you want 10, you're most likely going to have to buy one of the ridiculously expensive H Z690s. So, Another limitation is the, the LAN speed. Is that a problem? I don't think that really is unless you've got some kind of LAN party hooked up or, you know, whatever you may have in your house. Um, not, it doesn't matter here, okay? So, we've talked limitation, CPU, RAM, graphics card, the I.O. shield. Um, and get back to the I.O. shield. You're going to find on a lot of the B660s that you might have a Type-C Charlie connector, okay? That matters to me, so that's a nice thing. And one additional USB 3.0, one of the you know newer gens on there. So, um, SATA connectors, another limitation. If you needed a lot of SATA connectors for hard drives, you might want to consider something like the you know, one of the better motherboards. This guy has six SATAs here and two here. The H610 only has four. Uh, I think most of the B660s are limited to, like this has two of those, okay? So that might be another limitation for you, the quantity of SATAs. If you wanted to hook up a lot of hard drives, you are limited to four, okay? Now, you might not have RGB on these. If you want to have pretty lights in your case, uh, addressable RGB might, might not be a feature that's provided to you. Um, good news for your cases though, folks. With this motherboard, as cheap as it is, you could have a case that has on the front panel USB 3.0 and USB 2.0. For headers, this has two USB 2.0 headers and one USB 3.0. That's probably, you know, what you're going to see on all the H610s. But folks, the only other real limitation I see before we talk about the BIOS are your fan headers, okay? Limit another, limited amount of fan headers. You're lucky if you get three of those, okay? So if you buy one of those ginormous cases, make sure that it has Molex connectors on it and not a bunch of four pin connectors because you're gonna only end up being able to hook up three. Of course you could, I'm um, sure there's some splitters out there just like there are, well, there are splitters for Noctua. Um, 
I've never actually went to purchase them. I've always had to use Noctua splitter for a dual fan CPU setup. So, you know, maybe you're okay there, but uh, you might want to look for ones that have Molex uh, connections on them so you can connect your fans behind uh, the right access panel. Now, what else, folks? What else is a limitation of this motherboard? Uh, audio connectors. You're going to basically get the same as what you see here, a line out, headphone, microphone. If that matters to you, uh, you might have to look at something better like an H670 or one of the better B660s or a, a Z690, uh, which they won't all have, um, you know, the additional fiber optic and all that other stuff, subwoofer. Um, so you may have to spend quite a bit of money. All right, let's go inside the BIOS of one of these, imaginary BIOS. Limitations that I saw in both of these motherboards were the ability to adjust the power limits. That could matter on some of the higher end CPUs. Block frequency adjustment, neither one of these had that. You, uh, you know, you'll find that at, I believe, the $140 mark. So there's an ASUS B660 so the full size uh, motherboard that has that ability to adjust it. Now, I bought the H670 ASUS. Um, unfortunately, have not gotten a whole lot of performance out of that. It would appear at about the $180 mark if you buy the ASUS Tough B660M or spend $220 and get the ASUS Tough H670 that you will be able to uh, do some pretty cool things. And I'm talking locked, locked CPU. So um, basically you're able to kind of like do a uh, overclock on them, right? You'll get much higher benchmarks. You may even see higher uh, frame rates in your video games, which I previously had done with uh, 10th generation. So really folks, that, those are the main things in there that uh, might be missing. Um, VRM, you know, another huge thing on these kind of motherboards. These guys, there's no heat sink on here. This is bare bones, folks. This thing can't handle a lot. Um, hence why the power limits are so low or they are not adjustable at all. So there you go, folks. I hope you got something out of it. I know this video took a long time. Do I recommend this motherboard? Um, let me put this down. Do I recommend the H610M? There are certain people out there that I would recommend this to. Uh, I think most of the hardcore gamers, this is a no, okay? If you just do mild gaming, don't care about upgrading for five years, um, you know, this might be good for you. Uh, maybe you've been using a, you know, somewhat crappy, uh, let's say a 7 Gen i3. I'm trying to think what my buddy used to have. 7 Gen i3 7100. And you haven't upgraded in quite a few years and you just want to get a little bit more out of your computer maybe you're going to upgrade an i3 12100 this might be for you okay but if you are into hardcore gaming and you know maybe you want to have an rtx 3090 uh, maybe you want to have the future capability to upgrade to rtx 4000 this is not you know for you so hey thanks for checking out my video please like